How to make custom parts in fritzing. In the last session, we introduced the file structure of fritzing parts and an example of making a custom part from old parts. Next, I will introduce you to two other methods of custom parts with examples. Make your custom part from generic IC. First check that the pin of CH340C in the specification sheet is SOP16. But the actual comparison size in fritzing should be SO16. So we searched for SO16 in parts. Then modify the chip label and change it to CH340C. Click Edit Pin Labels to modify the pin's labels. Modify the pin names in turn according to the specification. Part design can be completed. Check again in breadboard, schematic, PCB is it right or not. If it must be placed in the part window, to provide the next use. Click the right mouse button to select Edit Part, New Part Editor. Save it as a new part. Build a custom part, MS5611, from the part specification. First check that the MS5611 pin in the specification sheet is QFN. And the pitch is 1.25 mm, which is the same as SO8. But we look at the QFN parts in fritzing and do not have the same QFN parts. So decided to use the generic IC of SO8 to make and modify. Then modify the chip label and change it to MS5611. Click Edit Pin Labels to modify the pin name. Modify the pin names in turn according to the specification. Then we save the new parts, and then modify the SVG graphic of the PCB. Click the right mouse button to select Edit Part, New Part Editor. Save it as New Part MS5611 underscore B3. Then modify documents PCB SVG file under according to the specification.
Re-execute fritzing, you can see that the PCB shape has been modified. Then edit the parts main file.fcp under documents fritzing parts user. Change the package of the part to QFN. Then set the internal connection pins of the two CSBs to bus. Save the .fcp file after modification. Custom parts can be exported as .fcpz for easy sharing and use elsewhere. See you next time.